All right, so uh, the first production copy of The Silver River. I'm going to unbox this for you so you can see everything that's there. I've already opened the basic version of The Silver River. I've also got the uh, Industrial Outposts Explore Deck. This is an additional Explore Deck you can buy. And this is the Kickstarter Extra Monster, the Space Dragon. Um, so first things first, the, the only difference between the Deluxe Edition and the Standard Edition is the Deluxe Edition has upgraded plastic pieces for the fleets and the trade stations. Uh, it also has all the components and player boards and fleet trackers that you need to play up to five players instead of four players. Uh, there should be a sticker inside the box that you can choose to place on top of your box here to identify it as a Deluxe Edition. Uh, but when these ship, there'll be no way to tell which is which. Is which. Um, but the Lux Edition has all the extra components. It has two extra races. It has that sticker uh, and all the plastic bits as well. So I'm going to unbox this for you now and see what we got. Pretty heavy box. So first things first, we've got our our cover here, which is the logo and then the cover art. Uh, on the sides, we just have the name of the game on all four sides. So, you know, whichever way you put it on the shelf, it will you'll be able to see what game it is. And then the back does not show the components. Um, it just has some artwork and explains what the game is. Uh, we weren't able to get a shot of the components because, you know, when we did all the, the graphic design and stuff, they weren't complete yet. Um, so that's why. And there's the colorblind friendly logo. Uh, as you know, we took pains to make sure it was colorblind friendly. So let me open this up and we'll see what we got. All right. All right, so first thing you see is the rule book. Uh, this is my favorite piece of art in the game, that rule book cover. On the back is the quick reference guide. So again, you can play the game. You can sit down and play the game from this quick reference guide. If you, you know, it shows each phase and how, what, what steps you take. Um, if you have a question, you can go to the index here on page 19 and find the specific item you need details on and then go to that page, but I'll just, I'll flip through this for you really quick so you can take a look at it. It's pretty nicely illustrated. I think our graphic designer did a very good job laying this out. Those are the maps for our two player, three player, four player, and five player game. The age sequence, the available actions. This goes into detail on the different actions that you can take. And there's more. It has examples, objectives, and here's the examples. So this walks you through examples of the different action types you can take. So here's the political actions, here's the military actions, here's the uh, civilization actions. It gives you examples of those. Uh, special rules, you know, so this talks about technology boards, title cards and wonders, nebulous spaces, trade stations, combat. So combat is all explained right here, both player versus player combat and planetary bombardment, as well as monster combat. Then there's the end of game and a couple variants and the credits and the index, of course. And then we get into the solo, the standard solo game. And then the Monster Slayer Push Your Luck kind of dice game variant. So that's the rule book. All right, here's the board. So the board, it's not a modular game. It does have a board, but it's kind of semi-modular because you're going to be able to put your home planets in, in these notches depending on what race you play. Or it will be an un uninhabitable planet depending on the map for the player count 
uh, which is in the rule book. Uh, so this makes setup very quick. Again, the Silver River is meant to be a fast 4X, so every decision was about speed. So, you know, the modular board just takes longer. Uh, we also ensure balance this way, right? These planets are completely balanced with all the, all the player counts. So there's the board, it kind of folds up and looks like that. Uh, we also have our minis. Now I paid some extra money. I upgraded to have an insert, a plastic insert made for the minis. Uh, we did not want to risk these breaking in transit. So, you know, we went ahead and spent a little money to, to have this plastic insert where those e -crub, e crub and there's Garlax and here is Krator. He's my favorite. And then we've got Mungrood the Unforgiving here as well. Show you those. Don't you see? Don't you see Ecrub as well? And Ecrub is the harder plastic, as we had to do uh, to make sure he didn't bend on his base, and he looks pretty good. So, so that's all well and good. Now we've got our components. We've got our cubes. So seventy-five cubes for every player. So there should be five different colors of these in the deluxe edition. So there's green, there's blue, there's for the white player, which are clear translucent cubes. Then we've got yellow, and then we've got red, and they're all in their own separate bags. Then we've got dice, our custom dice. We've got 12 of these comes in the game. Then we have our explore tokens. So 14 of these for each color. So there's the white and there's the, the blue and the, the red and the yellow and finally the green, the green stars. So these are the tokens you put down on sectors after you explore them. Now we have a bag of our plastic trade stations. So our trade stations are also come in the five different colors. So there's the yellow and the, and the green and the blue and the red and, and, and the white. So these all come in a bag. Each player gets four of these to start a game. Then we have our tiles. <clears throat> So these are the base home worlds here for this, the base eight races that come in both editions, the basic edition and this deluxe edition. So on the back are these uninhabitable worlds. <clears throat> and then on the front are the home planets that has the, the races icon on it. Now the deluxe edition also comes with these two additional races, the white lines and the cyborgs, and you have your white, um, uh, components uh, for fleets and trade stations here. These are the cardboard ones. You do have the plastic ones as well. So you, you know, you get both. You can use the plastic or you can choose to use the cardboard if you like the cardboard better. Here are the fleet tokens. These are the plastic as well for each of the colors. The white, yellow, green, red, and blue. That comes only in the deluxe edition. And then we have our wonders. So we have <clears throat> we have five Pleasure Dome Wonders. That's because the Nordics can build an extra Pleasure Dome, so you get an extra Pleasure Dome piece. Uh, then we have uh, the four Racial Wonders here, and then we have the four um, uh, Orbital Space Stations. So that's very good. We have our monster ability cards. I'm kind of looking forward to these because we upgraded this card stock. And yeah, much better, very nice. This is now 350 GSM card stock and it feels really great. It's nice and thick. It shuffles really nice. So yeah, these cards are nice. And then we've got our monster cards. <clears throat> these are the terra size ones. Yeah, these feel great too. God, they're so thick it almost feels like cardboard. It's almost, it's like just under 
cardboard thickness, so very nice. And the colors are good too. So there's our monster cards. Our title cards here. So these are also uh, tarot size. There's three different ones of those. We have our technology cards. These are the technology cards. Looks like the white player there. Then there's a whole pack of them here. And you know, each player color gets a whole set of the technology cards. So it's marked with their color flag on the back. So that will be easy to figure out. Then we have our personal objectives. This is the white player as well. And then we have the personal objectives for all the players. So every player gets 10 of these to start the game and they can pick five. So these are labeled by the flag color as well. The base explore deck. So this is the explore deck you get with the game. Uh, you can also purchase this additional industrial outposts explore deck. So it's a whole different story that it tells. <clears throat> then we've got our tactics deck, the tactics cards. These are all the same nice thick card stock as well. Here is our wooden quest markers in different colors. 12 different tokens or six pairs. We have our first player marker here. Um, that is a sticker that came loose. So here's the sticker sheet. So the sticker sheet is for putting the stickers on the back of these uh, plastic tokens. So you'll just have to uh, stick these on yourself. And here's the sticker sheet for the front of the box if you want to put this on the front of your box for the deluxe edition. Uh, we're not putting them on the box because some people didn't want to do that. Uh, but you can do that if you like. So I will stick those later. Um, here's our extra wonders. Um, so these wonders are for the fifth player. So you have the white racial wonder and additional pleasure dome and um, orbital shipyard. Now we've got our fleet trackers, our recessed fleet trackers. Let me get a cube to see how this, see how this fits. So this was something everybody wanted, I know. Uh, you know, you're tracking the number of ships that you have in each fleet, uh, and it's a it's a recess, so it's you know you can't bump it and and break it. So that's our our re, our recess fleet trackers. Deluxe edition will have five of these, and the standard edition will have four. Uh, now we have our punch board. So you have punch board for all your fleets and all your trade stations as well. You don't have to use the plastic. You can use this. You can see the numbers are already on the back here. So you don't have to use stickers like you do for the plastic ones. Uh, our domestic investment board folds out. So this is where you track your domestic investment after you pass. So you can track the age that you're in and also the score track around the outside. So this board is pretty nice too. All right, now we get into our Here's a couple of our player screens. So that's how you kind of shield your production when you're allocating it. So you'll get five of those in the base game, four in the standard edition. Then we have our races. Oh, these are nice too. These are nice and thick, thicker than we're used to. So here's a cyborg and the white lion. So these are the additional races you get in the deluxe edition. You will not get these in the standard edition. Here is the technology board, and it's just double-sided. So, you know, for no reason other than if, you know, you get a mark on one side, you have the other side you can still use. Um, same with the production boards are, are double-sided. So, in the deluxe edition, you'll get five production boards and five technology boards. And in the standard edition, you will get four. Uh, so here's the remainder of the races. These are all the base races that you'll get in both editions. Arcturians, Greys, Humans, Insectoids, Martians, Nordics, Reptilians, and Yael. So they're all there. Very good. And here's our final three remaining player boards. They all have just different artwork on 
on each side. So it doesn't matter which one, which player gets which, just pick the one you want, you like best. So that's it. And it's got just a small little insert here that will hold the board uh, on top after you put everything, uh, you know, back in the box. So that is it. That is the Silver River, uh, the deluxe edition. I'm happy with it. I can't wait to get this out to everybody. And thanks for watching. Bye.